quirky and contemporary. 18-year-old urban soul singer Day was the first contestant who could be a real pop star. But judges still weren't convinced on The Voice UK by Jim Shelley. Something shocking happened on The Voice UK. Hopefully you are sitting down. One of the contestants was really good. No, seriously it is possible, albeit less likely than Elvis walking on. Not only that, the cool, quirky, 18-year-old from Stevenish who called herself Tay was a modern, urban, soul singer that you could envisage having a hit. Even become an actual pop star. Tay had the style, the personality, the attitude, and last but not least, the vocals. Yes, after five years and six series, it was a miracle. The only worrying thing, and the second shocking thing, for Day and the program's sake, was that for most of her audition it looked as if the four celebrity judges slash coaches just couldn't see it, or rather hear it, Tay's talent, that is. She used attitude and showed such vocal range that Jennifer Hudson herself wasn't sure is it one person, or two? Despite this, she sang for a minute and a half while Will, I, Am, and Sir Tom Jones worked out what to make of her before pressing their buzzers and turning round. The voice Ukes are their experts Jennifer Hudson and Ollie Mers never did, incredibly. Perhaps they were all so stunned that someone decent had finally appeared on the show that they couldn't move. Considering how many cruise ship quality crooners they've given for votes and a standing ovation to it didn't give you much confidence in Tay's chances of progressing. Obviously her audition could prove to be a false dawn. Over the years we've seen several promising and even exciting prospects on talent shows Peter out as the competition wears on. Not necessarily on the voice but certainly on the X Factor. I was convinced that Fleurist and Misha B for instance were clearly a cut above the others and the norm, practically fully formed pop stars without Simon Gowell manufacturing them into them. Day was like a cross between the two. She was the best contestant on The Voice UK I can ever remember seeing in the auditions or any of the later rounds in the previous six series for that matter, including the finals, even the winners. Admittedly, this wasn't saying much. Since it started in 2012 the calibre of the performers that The Voice UK has presented us with and ultimately produced as its champions has been notoriously dismal. Tame non-entities. Not even one-hit wonders. Any viewers who followed the charts could tell that Lean Mitchell, Andrew Bigley, German Jackson, Steve McCrory, Kevin Simon Moadina and would flop even if the celebrity mentors didn't. The X Factor may be widely derided but Gal Saturday Evening Entertainment Behemoth has delivered not only One Direction and Little Mix but minor slash temporary successes like Leona Lewis, Alexandra Burke and James Arthur. The Voice UK hasn't even had a daytime TV sensation to match Stacey Solomon or Shiko and its best idea about how to feature its own Ollie Mers was to hire the X Factor loser as a coach. So emulating its rival's achievement at least once is the holy grail for The Voice UK. Tay ticked a lot of boxes. Her sound, her look and her confidence were all fresh as will. I and put it, and flawlessly contemporary given the vogue for young, female singers. Her choice of song, New York duo Lion Babe's mellow dance version of the Curtis Mayfield classic Move On Up, meanwhile was relatively unknown slash underground fresh, as will put it. While the teenager strutted round the stage wearing cartoon slash fashion glasses bigger than Will. I and a shiny silver puffer jacket that reflected her individual personality. Sassy, Hudson said. Even though he was 33, Ollie Mers had presumably been brought in as the new coach to spot any younger, hipper talents but failed hopelessly with Tay. Luckily Tom Jones, 133, didn't. You look cool. You sound cool. A lot of attitude, he declared, and he should know. Love it. I felt that attitude you had was smooth and enticing. 
Approved. Will. I am possibly the best judge's compliment ever. Come crunch time, Sir Tom asked. Who are you going to pick then? But it was a rhetorical question. A modern urban girl like Tay wearing those glasses? Of course she chose Will. I am. That's a little superstar right there. Called Jennifer Hudson. Let's hope so, for Tay's sake and particularly, for the shows. She might be the voice Uke's last chance. Here are my awards from week three. Chris James Prince Ali from Aladdin Asterisk. Tay Move One Up by Curtis Mayfield by and Babe Version Asterisk Asterisk Jemical Macreon Born to be Wild by Spin Wolf Asterisk Asterisk Ratiola Junk Bag Budapest by George Ezra Asterisk Asterisk And Undock Sunday Morning by Maroon Five Times 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 Mickey Cohen Despacita by Luz Fonsi Slash Daddy Asterisk Asterisk Yankee Slash Justin Bieber Jane Lantone Shire Magic by Coldplay Asterisk Mark Kasari Walking Away by Craig David Asterisk Asterisk Simon Davis Sign of the Times by Harry Styles Asterisk Asterisk Wild Rebellious Contestant Chris James was the long-haired, leather jacket-wearing frontman of Norwich rock band Powerhouse but actually so well-spoken he narrates audio books for a living. Wild Rebellious Coach Ollie Mers teaming up with Chris James, yelling, We are gonna go crazy. We are going to have fun. Lock up your daughters. Anticlimactic song choice. Having spent his VT talking about being a rocker, Chris James proceeded to perform Prince Ali from Aladdin. Cruelest rejection of a contestant. Jemical Macrion was six feet tall, 34 years old, with red hair understandably uninspired by her job as a receptionist and a lifetime being mocked and probably bullied. Before she went on stage she said, If I could get one judge to turn then all the knockbacks in my life would just diminish and wouldn't matter. But none of the judges buzzed despite a strong performance and she left in tears. Cruelest rejection of a coach. Ollie Mers tried to outdo the other coaches pitching to Anton Dox to join their team telling them, I didn't win the show as Jennifer Hudson had boasted and I didn't have a group last year as Tom Jones had. But I was in a duo early in my career. I've done the pubs, I've done the clubs. I think it's important to let you know I've got that experience. The crowd chanted Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. As the former students made up their minds. Before choosing Team Chud. Damn it. Mose cried afterwards. I pitched hard for that. I think I would have given them some good advice. I gave it everything. Most humiliating rejection of a coach. I sing that song in the car. I could speak to Harry Styles too. Ollie Mose stressed to Simon Davis after he'd performed Sign of the Times. Davis still chose Sir Tom. I even dropped the Harry Styles guard. Moaned Mers, genuinely upset slash irritated. Best insult to a coach. How old are you again? Twelve? Sir Tom Jones to Ollie Mers. Best consolation compliment to a contestant. I love your hair. Can I have it? Jennifer Hudson purred to Rutty. Best consolation compliment to a coach. It's a choice between the legend Tom Jones and me. Will. I. Am told Mark Kasari. Well you're a legend as well. Charmed Sir Tom. Not like you. Will insisted graciously. Well you will be. Jones suggested the perfect backhanded compliment. Age-old question. Is that a girl or a boy? Sir Tom to his fellow coaches during Rodiola Jugbag's audition. Age-old pitch. I don't have a duo on my team. 
Sir Tom Twant and Ox, as if duos were so commonplace he was the only coach without one element he makes every time a duo appears. Bravest Contestant Ever since I can remember I've had a stammer that made me shy and not talk to anybody, Mark Asari explained, before recalling. A big life-changing moment for me was when I found that when I sang I didn't stammer. He proved it too on stage and by singing his answers to the coach's questions. Singing's given me the confidence to be who I truly want to be in the world. He smiled. He wasn't as talented or original as Day but, judging from previous series, more likely to win. At least he would deserve it.